friends in continuation to last lecture on uh, completely randomized design that is crd today i will be discussing about the critical difference so in the last class uh, i was uh, stopped at a point where uh, we have come to conclusion that there is some difference between different factors so different factors in if you remember last class in that class i have told you that there we have to test different feeds and we have to find out whether there is difference exist between these those feeds or not so in last class uh, we had concluded that there is difference between the feeds but which feed is different from which or how much it is different whether difference is significant or which two feeds are different from each other that we have that was not uh, the result was not concluded in that way but our ultimate aim in any design of experiment is to know whether the whether there is a difference exist or not if it is existing then which two means are different that means when we are compare, comparing more than two means then our challenge is to know which two means are different it is not only that the means are different so to know which means are different which two means are different or which three means are different for that uh, we need another uh, concept of critical difference that is also known as cd so today i will be discussing about the critical difference so just uh, uh, i will be discussing the same example that i had discussed in the last class so what is critical difference suppose when we reject null hypothesis if you remember last uh, uh, class in that the example that i had discussed in the last class so in that context you you should note that when we reject the null hypothesis we can conclude that the treatment means are not all equal so in last class if you are remembering i had told you that or we had concluded that okay we reject null hypothesis that means treatment means are not all equal but we cannot be more sure than this means we are not sure we, we are not very much sure that which two means are different we are sure that means are different but which two we are not sure so we do not know whether all the means are different from one another or only some of them are different so there is a difference but which two whether all are different from each other or only two is different from each other or which pair is different from each other that was that was not concluded in the last class or one it was not concluded with the simple anova or simple crd completely randomized design if we are not applying cd that is critical difference we will not be able to know that so therefore once we reject the null hypothesis we conduct further test to find out which of the means are actually different this is achieved by comparison of means with so called critical difference value that is cd value so in this context cd value is having its own importance so this was the uh, requirement of this is the how why cd is required now we will see what actually cd is so aim so aim we have already known that it it is to determine the difference between a pair of means difference between the pair of means that will be significant so first of all the first aim is to determine the difference second aim is to compare the that value with the calculated difference between all pair of group means so first of all you have to calculate the difference you have to calculate the difference and then you have to compare that value with the calculated difference between all pair of group means so this uh, if you see the procedure then you will be understanding it in a better way so if the difference between two means suppose you have calculated the div Uh, means of different groups and if the difference between two mean is greater than the critical difference so you have calculated one side you have calculated cd value cd value and another side you have calculated the difference between the two means 
and if your difference between the means is greater than the calculated cd value then the these two means are different from each other that is the interpretation so it can be concluded that the difference between this pair of mean is significant so in theory we can say that cd value is used for comparison from what from the difference of mean of two uh, factors or two factor means suppose you uh, you are having two two factors what are the two factors f1 and f2 two field so mean of two field suppose mean of first field was 12 and mean of second field was 8 so difference is 12 minus 8 4 and your calculated cd value is 3 so that means your calculated c uh, difference of mean is greater than the calculated cd value that means the difference between these two means are significantly different from each other so this is how we are uh, applying critical difference value for knowing the difference between the means so how uh, it is actually working just you remember the null hypothesis that all the treatment means are equal all the treatment means are equal that means f1 is equal to f2 is equal to f3 up to fn or ft whatever you are supposing that means all the treatment means are equal alternate hypothesis is that at least two treatment means are different at least two treatment means are different so once you prepare anova table as we had prepared in the last lecture from anova table after getting the value of f calculated f value you can conclude that okay treatment means are not equal if it is significant if your calculated f value is more than the tabulated f value at 5% level of significance then you can conclude that treatment means are uh, different they are not equal but which treatment mean is different for that you have to apply the critical difference method or critical difference statistics so when h0 is false that is your null hypothesis is false then we have to find out those differences between the means which are significant for this first of all we have to calculate the standard error of difference so in calculation of cd our first step is to find the standard error of difference that is sed standard error of difference so how we are calculating a standard error of difference you can see this is the formula for calculation of standard error of difference so what is standard error of difference it is under root of ems ems what is ems error 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 mean square error mean square error mean square error mean square what is error mean square it is error variance it is error variance that we have already calculated in a no table in the procedure of crd we have calculated the error mean square that is error variance by subtracting total variance uh, subtracting sorry subtracting the uh, between group variance from total variance so we already have error variance and what is n1 and n2 n1 and n2 so formula what is formula standard of difference is equal to under root ems error mean of where error mean uh, error mean square or error variance into 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 so what is n1 and n2 so n1 and n2 are actually replication they are the replication that is they are r1 and r2 r1 and r2 so if suppose you are having equal replication as we have seen in our example in our example when we tested the feed sample different five feed sample we were having equal replication that is all the uh, treatments were replicated four times so in such cases your formula will be standard error of difference is equal to under root 2 error mean square divided by r so simply you can write the formula of standard difference as this where r is number of replication that is equal replication if their replications are equal if they are not equal then we have to go by this formula now after calculation of standard error of difference you have to calculate the 
CD value that is critical difference value. So the critical difference value at desired level of significance, desired level of significance, whatever level of significance that you have decided either 5% or 1% is calculated and the observed difference are very easily compared with the CD value. So now you have to calculate the CD value at desired uh, desired level of significance. So how to calculate CD value? So the CD value can be calculated as CD is equal to standard error of difference into table T value at 5 or 1% level of significance at error degree of freedom. So this is very important. You have to calculate CD value. How? You have already calculated the standard error of difference then you have to multiply it with the table t value why t, t table why t table because we are comparing the two means we are comparing two means that is why we will see the table t value at five percent or one percent level of thing whatever you have set the level of significance and at what degree of freedom at error degree of freedom so you are already having error degree of freedom in your nova table so from nova table you have to take the error degree of freedom and already we have taken from NOVA table itself, we have taken the mean sum of square due to error. Error mean square or error variance for calculation of standard error of difference. So that NOVA table you have to remember. From NOVA table you have to take this value. So like this you will get the value of CD. Now you have to compare this CD value, calculated CD value with the difference between the two means. Difference between the two means. And if your difference is greater than CD value, these differences are significant. If your difference is lesser than the CD value, then your difference is non-significant. Just we will see one example, then it will be very much clear. So there are two types of CD, actually least significant difference and most significant difference. And this is nothing uh, new in it. CD value at 5% level of significance. If it is at 5% then it is called as least significant difference and if it is at 1% level of significance then it is most significant difference. So in some time in your examination in multiple questions you may be asked what is least significant difference. Then it is nothing but CD value at 5% level of significance and most significant difference is the CD value at 1% level of significance. Now just take one example same example that we have already seen when we were uh, discussing CRD. CRD that is completely randomized block design. Actually this is also a portion of CRD all itself. There only we have done uh, discussed up to ANOVA and then after we have to do CD value. We have to calculate CD value. So here uh, since that class was very much longer that is why I have separated this critical difference in the separate lecture. So the same example, five varieties of feeds, you have taken five varieties of feeds. Uh, they are equally and randomly allotted to 20 peaks. The same question, if you remember, uh, we have tested five feeds, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5. So after doing ANOVA in CRD, you have concluded that the feed are different because if calculated F value was greater than tabulated F value at 5% or 1% level of significance. So you had decided that feed are different, but which two feeds are different or if all the feeds are different. So what is the condition to know that we have to do, we have to calculate the CD value. So this is your ANOVA table. You see here you have taken the F value, calculated F value. It was 11.18, which is greater than 5% and 1% level of significance. And this is the error variance already, uh, you know, because we have to use the value of error variance. That is why I have highlighted here. It is mean sum of square due to error, mean sum of square due to error. It is 3.47. And one more thing, we have to see the degree of freedom, error degree of freedom. So it is 15. Error degree of freedom is 15. So now see how we will calculate standard error of difference. So first of all, we have to calculate standard error of difference. So how we are calculating a standard error of difference, a standard error of difference is equal to under root 2 error mean square divided by 
replication number of replications so here why we are using this formula because all the replications are equal all the treatments are equally replicated so that is why i have kept here value 2 into 3.47 we have already seen the error mean square is 2 uh, 3.47 divided by 4 replications so like this we got the value 1.317 1.317 so 1.37 is a standard error of difference and what is the cd value so cd value will be how much standard error of difference into table value of t table value of t at 15 degree of freedom that is 15 is the error degree of freedom so a, a, a standard error of difference into t value at 15 degree of freedom at 5% level of significance. So like this you calculated the value as 2.8. So you have already calculated that uh, cd value as 2.8. Now you see how we will differentiate the means. So 2.8 value you have to remember. Now just see for the comparison of means under different varieties of feed we arrange the mean in descending order so this is very important first of all you have to arrange your means into descending order so here you can see our f3 f3 was actually having highest mean 16 then f4 12 then f2 11 then f5 9 and lastly f1 8 so this is in the descending order this is in the descending order now what we have to do we have to see the difference between the two means so suppose the first uh, here you can see the mean of f3 is 16 16 we have written 16 minus f4 is 12 f 16 minus 12 is equal to 4 so the difference between the mean is 4 but your calculated cd value is 2.8 2.8 so 2.8 or 4 actually 4 is greater than 2.8 that means these two means are that means f3 f3 and f6 are different f3 and f6 are uh, f3 and f4 are different they are not same so first we have concluded okay f3 and f4 are same now if f3 and f4 are same definitely f3 and f2 will be uh, sorry f3 and f4 are different then definitely f3 and f2 will be different f3 and f9 will be different f3 and f8 will be different because that is why i have arranged the all the means into descending order so if first one is uh, significantly different from second one then first one will be significantly different for, from all other means now test the second one test the second mean second mean so second mean suppose it is 12 and 11 f4 it is 12 f2 it, it is 11 so 12 minus 11 is equal to 1 12 minus 11 is equal to 1 and your calculated cd value is 3.8 or 2.8 sorry whatever may be 2.8 so this calculated cd is greater than the calculated cd is the greater than the difference so what will happen these two means f4 and f2 are one and same they are not significantly different so if they are not significantly different you have to underline this you have to underline this mean you have to underline this means okay now you have to test the f4 with f5 f4 with f2 is not significant so we have underlined it now you test f4 with f5 so how you will test f4 with f5 so f4 is 12 and f5 is 9 so what will be the difference 12 minus 9 12 minus 9 is equal to 3 12 minus 9 is equal to 3 and what is your cd value cd value is 2.8 cd value is 2.8 so definitely 3 is greater than 2.8 that is why the difference between f4 and f5 is significant so if there is significant difference no need to do anything so if f4 and f5 are different f4 and f1 will be definitely different so now you have to test f2 with f5 f2 with f5 
so f what is f2 f2 it is 11 and f5 it is 9 so 11 minus 9 is equal to 2 and your calculated cd value is 2.8 2.8 so that means these two means are same f2 and f5 are same so we will underline it f2 and f5 we will underline it that means underline is indicating that these two means are same similarly we will test f2 and f1 so what is f2 f2 is 11 and f1 it is 8 so 8 11 minus 8 is equal to 3 so this 3 is greater than 2.8 that means f2 and f8 are different so no need to do anything now you test the last one f5 with f8 so f5 is 9 f8 is 8 f f5 is 9 minus f1 is 8 so 9 minus 8 1 is uh, and C, your calculated cd value was 2.8 that means these two means are same so we will underline it so this is how we are expressing the significant difference between different means so there are other ways also to express the significant difference but this you can utilize is i hope you all have understood it how to put underline if the two means are one and same then you have to underline it if two means are different you don't have to do anything and who will decide the difference if, whether they are significantly different or not that will be decided by cd value if your difference between the means is greater than cd value then the means are significantly different and you know how to calculate cd value then next one if this is this thing it has been written in the words if the difference between two means falls within the limit of cd then those means are non-significant in this way we compare all the means for their differences the feed means that do not differ significantly that do not differ significantly are similar with each other and they should be underlined by a bar we have already done else while presenting the table of means we generally put superscript there is one more method if you don't want to put underline actually underline putting underline is the old method if you don't want to put uh, underline then there is one more method of writing superscripts so in many places uh, if you will uh, go to upper classes on uh, fourth year fifth year and if you see some article on the research journals uh, there many times the means will be always provided with the superscript so what will be the meaning of the superscript i will be discussing in the next slide so how to present the difference between means in form of superscripts so you see the procedure consists of putting same superscript over all those means which do not differ so this is one and same putting superscript is same as of putting underline so what here we are doing we are putting same superscript if there is no difference between the means if there is no difference between the means as per the calculation calculation part is okay same thing with the help of cd you are determining whether they are different or not if they are not different you have to put same superscript a a if you are writing b then b on the same when all the means in the table are superscripted you can easily determine as to which are the means that do not differ from each other so this way you already just see here i have put the superscript this superscript the f3 and f4 they don't have similar superscript that means f3 and f4 are significantly different whereas if you see f4 and f2 f4 and f2 the f4 is having superscript a whereas f2 is having a and b so a and a superscript is matching a and a superscript is matching that is why f4 and f2 are one and same there is no significant difference similarly you can interpret in similar ways so i hope this is also clear to you so i have told you the two methods of presentation of difference uh, significant difference between the means one is to underline it one is to put underline beneath the means another is to put superscript so superscript putting superscript is nowadays it is common but you can underline it also 
so this is how we are utilizing the value of critical difference to know which means are differing from each other significantly so with this uh, i think we have come to the end of uh, uh, our okay one more conclusion so what is what we can conclude so in this example which example the example of feed feed variety f3 so after getting result or after getting you have put it superscript or you have put it underline after getting result you have to conclude so feed f3 gave the maximum weight gain and it was significantly different from all other feeds so if you just see again if you just see again this f3 f3 is actually it is the highest feed mean and this is different from all other that is why this f3 is highly significant from all other that is f3 feed is having highest mean and it is different from all other similarly two three points i have concluded there another point is that f4 and f2 do not differ from each other why because they are having either same superscript or they are underlined they are underlined with the line similarly there are no significant difference between feed f2 and f5 and f5 and f1 so these also you can conclude from that uh, underline or superscript therefore we would recommend f3 to be used for better weight gain in pigs so like this you can conclude you calculate the uh, you do analysis in crd you get f value significant at 5% on 1% level then to know which mean is different you have to calculate cd value that is critical difference value and with those values you have to uh, see you have to compare it with the difference between the means and then you have to conclude which mean is significantly different and which mean is not significantly different so with this we have okay 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 one more thing that if means if, if the rep, number of replicants are, are different so in that case so i have already told you the formula standard error of difference is equal to a under root error mean square that is error variance into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 1 by ri plus 1 by rj that means it will be different if the if you are having different replications so you have to calculate the cd value different cd value if replications are different then you have to uh, calculate different cd value so number of replication may also vary from treatment to treatment we have to calculate more than one cd value if replications are different then mean that means you have to calculate more than one cd value if we have five treatment two with r1 two with r1 so if r1 two is having r1 replication that means they are having same replication so one cd value here two with r2 then again one cd value here and one with r3 so that means ki r1 is not equal to r2 is not equal to r3 then we would need to calculate three cd value so one two and three in order to compare the pairwise treatment with r1 r2 and r3 r2 and r3 replication so in this way you have to calculate multiple cd value so always remember the cd value will be calculated many times if you are having different number of replication for each treatment so uh, but the procedure of calculation will be same formula will be same that we ha i have already told for uh, when replications are equal so in this way we have concluded we have already discussed about the procedures in crd we first applied anova one way analysis of variance we got the value of f we compared the value of with f with the table value and the table value uh, was lower than our calculated value in that case we rejected our null hypothesis and we accepted alternate hypothesis then in order to find which mean is different or which two means are different and which all means are different for that we in this lecture we discussed about the calculation of cd value so cd value is very important to know the difference between the means whether the difference are significant or not so lastly we concluded that okay f3 feed was having highest mean and it was different from all other means so 
in the next class we will be discussing about the rbd that is randomized block design thank you